Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Thanks for joining me again. Well, today, as you can kind of see, it's a little different from what I normally try. Over the course of this channel's lifespan, I have tried different types of craft dinner, or as I kind of like to call it, just KD. Um, mac and cheese, whatever you want to call it. This particular one is one that's recently come out. It's a collab between KFC and KD. Now, if you go to the restaurants, they have mac and cheese on their chicken burgers or mac and cheese in their wraps. I talked to one of the staff members there, and it's just regular mac and cheese. It's not this stuff. It's just basically they make it up in the restaurant and put it on their wraps and their burgers. If I wanted to do that, I could do that at home easily, which is regular stuff. But this one here, as you can see, KFC original recipe flavor. So I'm kind of hoping it's got some good flavor to it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have any right now, so I, I, I can't eat it for you. But wait, what's that I hear? I have some. So, first thing I'm going to let you know, I don't, do notice, it's not as cheesy looking. Like, it's not very orangey, like a lot of the KD is. Um, I can kind of smell like the spices off the from the uh, chicken kind of stuff like if you've ever if you grew up near KFC at any point in your life or have been around one when they're making the chicken at least the way it used to be you could smell it coming off the places they vented that smell outside to get people ooh fresh chicken let's go get some kind of mental uh, trickery there to lure people in but that's kind of what I'm smelling I'm not sure how it's going to taste so we're going to give it a try I like KD. I haven't had any issues with any of the weird flavors I've tried. Even when they, we had the cotton candy flavor up here, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best. But the ghost pepper one I love. The poutine one's good. Uh, there's a few different ones that came out a couple years ago. I do have a video I'll link below. But yeah, so this is the new one. This is the interesting KFC-inspired craft dinner. Here it goes. It's interesting. There's not a lot of cheesy flavoring to it. So it's definitely not like craft cheese. But there is hints of chicken. Now it's quite possible I may have added too much milk to this so it might have thinned it out a bit. Because so I don't measure, I just eyeball. It's actually pretty good. It reminds me almost like if I don't know where you are if you had them or not, but like Lay's potato chips has a fried chicken. Or not fried uh the fried chicken. And it's a chicken a roast chicken, that's what it is. A roast chicken flavor. That comes out occasionally as a special uh addition thing. It kind of reminds me of that. It's subtle chicken taste, but nothing too extravagant. But it is an interesting thing to try if you are kind of partial to trying something different and you like mac and cheese and you like K uh, KFC. Now, I don't know if this is a truly Canadian thing or not, or if it is in the U.S. I don't know what other countries have craft doing mac and cheese. Well, one thing I did notice, I really like about this. Actually, the camera's catch up. On the top of each box, you get 20% off your next KFC purchase. So kind of a little, hey, incentive to go to KFC. I was thinking about that, getting one of the wraps in that to go along with this. And then when I found out it was just regular mac and cheese on it, I was like, yeah, no. Not for the price that you charge for, I mean, with the 20% off. <laughs> This is a pretty good sauce. Pretty good sauce. Pretty, <laughs> I'm so used to saying sauces. It's a pretty good uh, craft dinner. If you have been watching my channel recently, you'll do, uh, notice that uh, I mentioned the odd time going to Goat Fest. Well, that will be coming up 
by the time this one airs, probably like a week and a half. It's on the 28th of September, so roughly around something like that. So yeah, then I'll have some more videos after that and hopefully a whole bunch of new stuff to try that I don't currently have on hand. So keep an eye out for that. I will be posting a video of stuff that happens at Ghost Fest as well. So that'll be in there probably beginning of October before I jump back into the taste test. Mm. This is pretty decent. It's not overly overwhelming in the taste. Like it's not like, like I said, it doesn't jump out any, but there is a subtle chicken taste. Unfortunately, while I was making this, I lost six noodles. One stayed in the box, so it didn't get cooked. And five fell out when I was stringing it. So this is, this one goes out to the lost noodles. A moment of silence for those noodles. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Never want to forget the lost noodles. <laughs> Anyways, on that strange note, I'm gonna let you go. Enjoy your taste buds on whatever you're trying, because this definitely ain't a hot sauce. We'll see you next time, and who knows what the video will be or where I'll be or what's going on in the next one. But we'll see you then, and just take care. Yeah, check out the links below for any more information on this or the other KDE videos I've done. <laughs>